Hello again, witchy people. YouTube Pagan Challenge 2018. And today I choose the letter Y. Sorry, I'm laughing because I just did this whole video and I started off with the words YouTube Pagan Challenge 2019. <laughs> I'm having a foggy brain day, I think. Um, so I will try and sort of like get the gist of what I was talking about. Now for my YouTube Pagan Challenge 2018, the letter Y, I am choosing Y. Yes, I'm cheating considerably. Um, so, and the reason I'm choosing Y is because it does, it does give me a, a little bit of leeway. <laughs> I was going to pick Yarrow and then I thought, no, that's boring. Or at least it would be boring to me. I'm sure other people could make it interesting, but for me it would be uh, quite boring. Anyway, so for my Y being Y, the word Y, which I know is a W, but I'm using it as a Y. Okay. <laughs> Why am I a witch? Why do I practice the way I do? Now, obviously I speak for myself. I can't speak for everyone else, but I do think that the way you, the way you practice as a witch and the way you are a witch does actually stem and come from the way you were raised. So it comes from your youth and how you were raised in your younger days. See, I am getting some why letters in here, why words. And what I mean by that is, even if you're not raised as a pagan or a witch, which let's face it, most of us actually aren't, I think we are still influenced very heavily and we find certain connections with things that are very pagan and it's these things that we hold on to and make us what we are now why am i a witch you know that's a really hard question to answer i can say why i practice the way i do why i'm a hedge witch and that's simply because i hear spirits and i see spirits and i have certain not telepathic dreams but i can i have a certain sense of when things are going to happen uh, when I do a card reading for someone, I'm because I don't like people to feel pain. I, I'm very empathic, and I take on their pain if I think it'll help them. And I don't do this consciously. It's it's completely unconscious. It's it's completely just something that happens. I mean, I don't choose to hear spirits. Trust me. For anyone who you ask, anyone who can see or hear or sense ghosts, nine times out of ten, they will tell you. If you had the choice, you actually wouldn't. It's not, it's not pleasant to be honest. You can forget Ghost Whisperer, it's nothing like that. <laughs> you know, even oh, Medium, for instance, you know, it, it's not, you know, Patricia Arquette and all the rest of it, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing like, not really. It's a little bit like that, but it's not, it's not pleasant for the most part. It is difficult for the most part. So it's not something you often have a choice in. So why do I practice the way I do? Because it's what's right for me. And I think this is what it boils down to. Because although I, I think a lot of people, if they're not raised being pagans and witches, they tend to find their first footings in the pagan world and as in the witchy world, if you like, as Wiccans. Now, in my opinion, you have to be incredibly dedicated to be a Wiccan. And it was often a standing joke in an old community that I was as in online that hedge witches were lazy witches. And we are. <laughs> it's a secret. We are. <laughs> lazy in that we, we can't do ritual. We can't do all this dedication, certain moon phases and days and hours and weeks and nah. And we do do correspondences to a certain degree. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to do a spell using, oh no, a, a spell for intuition and speaking to the dead uh, using fresh lilac, obviously I'd have to do it this time of the year now because now is when the lilac is out fresh. See? So, but like I said, for, for the most part, I, I, I simply cannot put all these correspondences into work I think it would hurt my brain actually um 
so yeah th this first foray we have into witchcraft is often as Wiccans even if we don't stick to that path and the reason we don't stick to the path is we have to really pick and choose what is right for us which is why we are witches we are the way we are as witches because it's what feels right and obviously with okay yeah i know a lot of wiccans that aren't what i call super wiccans you have these real super wiccans that follow by the letter the wiccan read and they know all their correspondences and everything there they are so dedicated but i think that's a rare form to be honest that's a rare witch indeed but most of us can't do that and so most even wiccans tend to fall off the bandwagon slightly if you like we, we fall off the wagon and we pick and choose what's best for our craft which is why we practice the way we do but like i said sort of like going back to youth and younger even if we weren't raised and let's face it most of us weren't raised to be pagans the way we were raised will influence you know how we practice and if we become a witch i think so for instance my dad as most people know my dad was jewish I and mean, my dad passed away three and a half years ago now my dad was jewish and my mum is now a born again christian and my father had this idea that he wanted his children to be raised without religion without any form of organized religion so that we could choose our own path in life and that he thought would make us stronger people and happier people he didn't want to say you know like for instance my brother you shall be circumcised and you shall be jewish because it, it's just not what he wanted to do and he didn't want to christian uh, have us um baptized or christened simply because he didn't think that would be right for us and so my mum took it to the other extreme and we went out hugging trees we used to sing in the rain and sing to the rain uh, we used to talk to flowers and we used to go ghost hunting which is why i became the witch that i did and i think that whole it was a very hippie even though we, we lived in a council uh, council house on a council estate and you know my, my dad went out working every day and my mum was a stay-at-home mum until i was oh, I think in my teens so we were quite a nuclear family in that way but we were very much raised in a in quite a hippie sort of way you know sort of like flowers in the hair sort of thing and <clears throat> that did influence again in how I practice and why I practice the way I do and I think a lot of us if, if we do sort of look back and ask ourselves why will have that same sort of answer and not not many of us can really say why are you a witch well actually I don't know why I just am and I think maybe that's I mean I've always been a witch even if I didn't call myself a witch I think I always have been so it's really hard to say why why are you a witch that's like asking me why am I female you know um why have I got five fingers <laughs> well ten fingers five fingers on each hand you know why have i got a belly button i i just i just have so that question's really difficult for me to answer but why i practice the way i do it is simply because that's what's inside me and i think that is true for most witches and like i said we are we are witches in the way that we are witches we practice the way we do because it's what is right for us it's what feels right and that's it so that's my youtube pagan challenge letter why it is why but with a bit of youth and young lives and stuff because i don't like cheating completely and that's it thank you for watching witty people bye for now